So we're interested specifically in how smokers react to being stigmatized. Smokers in the United States do know that they belong to a stigmatized group, but don't necessarily think about that in everyday life. And we're examining whether stigmatization actually causes stress and less interest in quitting. Right now, the research is in its beginning stages. Um, so we're sort of helping to develop the protocols. Professor Helwig Larson asked me to apply to be in her research lab. And once I applied and I was accepted, that kind of brought a new aspect into our relationship of working together as a team instead of just as a professor and student. I work with students all the time. I find that undergraduate students can make very, very important contributions to my research. One of the wonderful things about being at Dickinson College for my students is that they get to work directly with a professor, whereas at major research universities they would normally work with a graduate student, and the graduate student works with the professor. One of the very first meetings we had, she sat Mary Taylor, the other research assistant, and I down and said, yes, I still am a professor, however, in this setting, we're all working together, we're all on the same level. I think it's only furthered my respect and relationship with Professor Holly Larson. They are working collaboratively with me on finding out what's working and not what, what's not working, what should the exact procedures should be, what should the instructions be. But I think it's really unique at Dickinson because there's such a, I don't know, it seems like they really try to foster relationships between the professors and the students and provide opportunities for research. One very important aspect of the grant is both to produce research that ultimately influences public health or the fight against cancer. Uh, we will also be publishing this research in academic journals so that other researchers can learn about the effects of stigma. And finally, my students will give invaluable opportunities to participate directly in research, which the National Institute of Health is hoping will add competent and capable students to the STEM fields into future research careers.